In order to configure the Turbine Mini, you need to log on to the station using a web browser, for instance, Firefox or Internet Explorer. You need to enter the IP address of the station in the address field of the browser. If you don't know the IP address, simply press the call button of the station and it will speak its IP address. One, zero, five. One zero one one two four. Now you are prompted for a username and the password. The username is admin and the password is alpha admin. The start page gives you some information about the station, such as the software version and the mode of operation. The Turbine Mini can operate in several modes, depending on what type of server it should be registered to. The mode of operations is configured in main settings. The simplest mode, seen from a configuration point of view, is the pulse mode. The station comes in pulse mode from factory. Actually, there is no settings required when the station is used in pulse mode. All configuration is done in the pool server, and the pool server will push the settings out to the stations in the installation. If the Turbine Mini should operate with an Alphacom server, you need to set the station mode to Alphacom. Then the IP address of the Alphacom must be defined as well as the directory number of the station. In order to register, the directory number must match the settings in the Alphacom server. The Turbine Mini can be configured with a fixed IP address, or it can be set to automatically obtain its IP address from the network, known as DHCP. Consult your IT manager if you are in doubt. This is the only configuration required in the Turbine Mini to get it working in an Alphacom environment. Other settings, such as configuring the call button and the speaker volume, is done from the Alphacom server. Finally, we look at the settings if the Turbine Mini should be used with a third-party SIP server or a call manager. We then have to set the station mode to SIP. In the same way as for um, Alphacom mode, we can choose to use a fixed IP address for the station, or the station can automatically be assigned an IP address from the network. Now we need to save and apply the new settings. Now the Turbine Mini will reboot. And it will be up and running again after approximately one minute. When the station is up and running again, we need to define a SIP account. Configure the name and the number of the station as well as the uh, IP address of the SIP server it should register to. Some servers require authentication, then you need to enter a username, often the same as the directory number, and the password. Consult the IT manager if password is uh, required. Now we need to save and reboot the station for the changes to take effect. When the station is up and running again, you can see from the station information page that the station is now registered to the server that we specified. Now the call button is configured in SIP configuration direct access key settings. Here you simply enter the directory number of the, uh, of the telephone that the station should call when you push the button. Finally, we might have to adjust the speaker volume. This is done in audio settings. 
Here you can set the volume in a range from 0 to 7, where 7 is the loudest. Now this finalizes the basic settings required to get the turbine mini operational. Consult the technical manual for further information.